I'm Sarah, I'll be your scientist today. This is my assistant Colleen, and we're here to try an apple oxidation experiment. You know how when you cut into an apple, it turns brown when it's, once it's exposed to the air? That is a process called oxidation. Normally the skin of the apple protects it from that, but once it's exposed to the oxygen in the air, an enzyme in the apple starts to react, and that's what that browning is. Our goal today is to try to slow or even prevent that from happening. So we want to be able to eat our apples before they turn brown. So we've gathered a bunch of liquids that we found around the house that we're going to cut up our apple, put them in there, and see which one helps us keep the apple fresh longer. We have salt water, orange juice, two different kinds of soda, a light colored soda and a dark colored soda. And then we have tonic water, apple juice, lemon juice, and honey on the end. In the middle here we have nothing, it's going to be our control. We're going to put the apple core in there just to see how brown an apple normally gets, gets when we expose it to the air. And so you want to make sure you have all your liquids poured and ready to go. We even labeled them because I do not trust ourselves to remember which is which. And then, because once you cut the apple it's going to start to turn brown pretty quickly. So you want to make sure you cut them and can put them right into their liquids. So I think we're ready to start cutting our apple up. I have a handy dandy apple core and cutter, but you can also use a knife. Yes. All right, well, I'm just gonna... A little push. There we go. And we'll take a slice for each cup. And then once all your apple pieces are in their liquids, you're gonna leave them for three minutes and then pull them all out and take a look and see which one you think worked the best. We will be right back. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. We gave it a little bit longer than three because we weren't seeing a ton of change yet. We're gonna just do a check-in and then afterwards we're gonna put them back in for another 10 minutes to see what really is working and what's not working. So, but first, this is our salt water one first. We're gonna pull it out, we can take a look. Looks all right so far, not too much browning. We're gonna look at our orange juice one. Not too bad. And this is our clear soda. Just getting a little gross, but not too bad either. And this is our dark soda, just getting a little gross. Then to compare, here's our control, which is the apple core that's just been left out. Looking pretty gnarly so far. So we know that they are starting to work at least. And this is our tonic water, which is not so bad either. Our apple juice. And then lemon juice. And honey. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put them all back in. And we're gonna check back in another 10 or so minutes. And we're back. It's been another 10 minutes, so they've been sitting in their liquids for approximately 20 minutes. Our next step is to go ahead and grab our tongs here. We're gonna take each piece of apple out, compare them, and see what worked best and what worked at all. So here we have our salt water, which looks all right. The orange juice. And then we've got our clear soda and our darker soda. And then our control here, which we <laughs> didn't do anything to, so we could compare. It's pretty gross. And then here we've got our tonic water, our apple juice, our lemon juice, <laughs> and our honey. All right. So go ahead, take a look at all of those, compare them, compare them to the core, see which one you think worked the best, which one didn't work very good. 
And looking at them all, actually, it looks like we, they did a pretty great job. So liquids like fruit juices and sodas have something in them called ascorbic acid, which absorbs, actually, it helps prevent the uh, oxidation process by absorbing that enzyme from the apples. So a lot of these did a really good job, which is great. And the next thing for you to try at home is to try tasting these because it's one thing for the process to have worked in some capacity, some worked better than others, but it's another thing if they don't taste very good because then it doesn't help you out. You can't eat your apple because it's still gross. Um, you're, if you want to try this at home, you can try it with different liquids. You can try it with different fruits, like pears will work the same way. Any fruit has the same oxidation process. So try them at home, leave them in the liquids longer, see if that has any effect. Um, thanks for watching.